had many customers ask us how they can clean their E10 tanks, especially the isocyanate side. The iso crystallizes reacting with the moisture in the air. Uh, on the inside of the tank, you can see there's very hard iso built up inside. Yesterday, the customer dropped this machine off. His problem was he was consistently having plugged up filters on his spray gun, the Fusion Air Purge. We determined that the tank was contaminated with hard solidified ISO that was plugging his Y strainer. Some of it was going through all the way to the gun. So we've added CU6 cleaner to the tank. And before you uh, do that, you want to protect your eyes from splash. So put your face mask on. Add your CU6 cleaner to the tank. So we, in this case here, we filled the tank about two gallons of CU6. At that point, we were going to recirculate through the entire hose and back to the return tube. So we turn it out to circulate. it was severe contamination so we've recirculated for about 24 hours now to help get that material loose we'll take a, a pry bar here's the pry bar take the pry bar again you want to protect your eyes and face from any splash because we have CU6 cleaner and ISO mixed in the tank so we can get inside and start scraping it off the sidewalls of the tank. It is softening it. It's still going to take probably another 24 hours before it completely turns loose. But to show you what we're getting out of here now is solid ISO this turn loose from the tank. It's not a very pleasant job to do. No one wants to do it, but you really need to maintain your E10s to keep the tanks clean or you're going to have lots of problems. Hope that helps you guys. Um, stay tuned to the YouTube channel and we'll keep posting things as they come up.